Hi guys, this is Shweta here and today I'll be doing another a food review a video and today I'll be trying out the new Utogi Jin Ramen from Korea again another Korean ramen this has been on my list since some time so you may find this ramen in a lot of stores this is available at Nature's Basket by Godrej stores so I'm sorry I just look a little pale but it's just early morning I'm shooting it and uh, kind of sleepy as well <laughs> this ramen retails for piece 95 one pack and there are two variants in it one is the spicy one and another is the mild now this one is a pure vegetarian ramen as you guys can see so if you are into Korean food and like ramen and instant noodles this is another one of very famous uh, instant noodles from South Korea and I picked up the spicy one because I am a person who just loves spicy food so I was not interested in the mild one I may try it if I like this one just wanted to say that you always have the option to cook Korean ramen with different ingredients or you just cook it as it is so I'm just going to be cooking as it is without any ingredients in it or mix anything up because I want to taste the ramen and see how it is in itself okay so the instruction just says put vegetable mix into 550 ml of water when it boils add soup mix and let it boil for four more minutes Pref for your preference you may add kimchi green onion egg etc which is a staple in Korean ramen so I'm just going to be putting it as it is so 550 ml means it's going to be a soupy ramen so let's do that okay so i poured my 550 ml of water it just seems a little less now this is our gin ramen firstly i really like the quality of the noodles it's very similar to shin actually which is good the ramen seems pretty thick and curly as usual i love this texture a lot we have the veggie mix here which has vegetables it's dehydrated vegetable mix and also the powder soup so you have these things inside pour it in Oh, I can see some carrots like green onion, maybe some garlic, uh, pepper. So we have all that. It's come to almost like a boil. I'm going to put the powder first. I prefer not to break uh, noodles, at least Korean ones, because they are better like this. So I'm going to be using chopsticks to cook it. And it's come to a boil and it's cooking. It's going to submerge it. The smell is very, very similar to shim. Come to a boil and almost cooked. It smells super, super spicy. It smells delicious. Don't overcook Korean ramen. It just loses the texture of the noodle. I always like it a little al dante and a little bit more towards a chewy texture rather than being like completely soft. So the key is um, stop the flame and just like do let the noodles get some air that way it cooks in a way that the noodles remain chewier because it cools down i think we are ready delish korean gin ramen ready to eat it smells like damn similar to shin so very excited about it let's just eat it and see how it is yes now and see how it is i'm just going to take like a good amount not good amount let's just say it smells so so damn similar to shin that I'm like really apprehensive about how it's going to taste this tastes like very 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 similar to shin it's almost on the same lines in terms of the taste but yeah there is a difference firstly this is a little more spicier I've not had the broth yet and the broth has been reduced actually. The noodle texture is very different from Shin. Shin has a more chewy, bouncy texture which I absolutely love. This one has a more soft texture. I won't say it's bad but it's just a more softer version like if I would boil Shin for another like 2 minutes that's how it's going to be. I don't think I overboiled it because I uh, when I finished it first while it was chewy I thought it was actually it wasn't cooked properly so I Boil it out for like two more minutes in order to cook it. So once it's cooked, it's a little soft. The taste is very similar and the heat isn't much. I mean, I'm not too sensitive to spice levels. So I have a pretty good spice tolerance. So I think this level of spicy is completely okay for me. It's a nice taste. It does lack a little like kick, 
that I get from Shin Ramen and I'm comparing it because Shin is my favorite and it's from a brand called Nongshim and this one is from Otogi and this one tastes like very similar and I don't know whether it's like a common standard taste in Korea and because of that it tastes similar I don't know mm. it's the Korean red pepper I think that's a very common taste across Korean ramen uh, at least the ones that I have tasted yet apart from that I think it's a good ramen overall pretty happy with the uh, texture of the noodles the softness the taste it's a good taste it's not very spicy it's spicy but it's like tolerable spice so I think it's a good level for me for this particular ramen garnishing will work better you can just add a little green onions or maybe an egg okay I take the spice thing back this spice is kind of building up on in my mouth it's like I thought you know it's tolerable but it kind of builds up it's not like completely light spice but I'm enjoying it because I, li I like a little bit of level of spice actually I don't mind it so I think it's nice one thing common at a lot of Korean ramen instant noodles is the quantity. The quantity is really amazing. It's like two packets of Indian instant noodles in one packet. So yeah, of course it's going to be expensive because these are all completely imported from Korea. So these aren't manufactured in India. So of course they're going to be expensive because there's a lot of customs and all that comes in between. So I don't mind paying for that. I just wish I could get more variety here. But little by little, I think we are getting there. Considering I have been into like Korean culture and everything since a decade, I think we have reached quite a bit. I'm really happy that Korean culture is making its way into our country because it's a really colorful culture and it's a very inviting and inclusive culture. So I really like it a lot in terms of food and the language. It's really good. I do know how to read and write Korean but I don't understand and I'm not fluent in it but I'm, I'm, I'm going to be there one day so it's 7 out of 10 for my rating and with that we're done with today's video so guys I hope you guys really like this video if you did don't forget to like comment and subscribe please press on the bell icon below to get a regular notification every time I upload a video I'll also be posting the link for this ramen in the description box below and you can also follow me on all the social media channels all the links will be down in the description box below for you guys and if you guys have any video queries anything you want to ask me about the product you can ask Ask me down below and so that's it for today hope you guys have a fabulous week ahead ciao